Hello, hello, this is Pixel Kick here with a quick and easy Kingdom Hearts 3 XP grinding trick. It involves farming battle gates for fast XP using Aruga. So you're gonna wanna use the Ever After Keyblade and three arrow boost cufflinks. That's the Ying Yang cuffs or the arrow cuffs. Uh, this method is pretty wicked fast XP. I was able to grind from level 40 to 98 in about an hour or so. Pretty much gonna start with going the locations of where to get the cufflinks, how to max out your Keyblade, and then the fight itself. You're gonna wanna start by going to Karana, the wildflower clearing. This is where you get the first arrow cuff link. You may already have picked this up. Go to the edge of the cliff and there is a large rock down below. You can jump down and do an overhead smash on. Uh, once you break it, there's a chest inside which will contain your first arrow cuff link. Now I've already got it open, but this is where it is. The next arrow cuff link can be obtained from the battle gate. You wanna head to the tower, the first waypoint in Karana. And you're just going to head quickly through. So you're going to head north through the tunnel and then up northeast, basically back to the starting zone. This battle gate will give you the second arrow cuff link. Next up, there's two different places you can get a yin yang cuff link from. The first is in the Pirates of the Caribbean level, specifically by the, I believe they're called the Towers of Regret or something like that. I'll show you where it is on the map here, but you can just... If you've already unlocked it, you can quickly waypoint there on the map, but it's right about here. And just over here, there's a single chest at this location. So you just hop off, jump in the water, swim over up onto the ledge, and the chest is right there. And that will have the first yin yang cuff link right about there. The second option for a yin yang cuff link will be in San Francisco. Now for this location, all you basically have to do is just climb up this building and hop onto the railway and ride it north, then west to the end of the map. You'll find a battle gate here. Completing this battle gate will reward you with the second yin yang cuff link. Next up, farming your keyblades and maxing them out, you're gonna need some crystals. You can get these crystals here at this battle gate in France and Tokyo as well. Uh, they drop pretty well, I get about eight per run. For Adamantite, Electrum, Damascus, etc., you want to go to the final of the three gummy ship locations. Uh, just head out and just break these uh, asteroids. Just fly around breaking them, and you will quite frequently get Adamantite, Electrum, Damascus, all sorts of materials that are great for crafting and upgrading your Keyblades. Any other items you should be able to just buy off the Moogle. All right, now finally, we're going to head over to the Horridor at Mount Olympus head just southeast a little bit drop down and right in the center of this area is the battle gate now the trick to this battle gate effectively is to equip all those items we looked at maybe eat magic up food and you're basically just going to spam arrow and get arrow jaw procs and pop them off as much as you can pretty straightforward pretty easy so i'm going to go into more detail here so first of all skip the cutscene, and as soon as you can Go into shot lock mode, hit them all up, and pop that shot lock off. As soon as you perform your shot lock, it's going to stun all these guys and stop them from slamming into you. Then you want to pop off three arrow guns until you get your arrow shot proc, but don't use it quite yet. Run over here and pop it off because there's a bunch of enemies spawn here and you'll hit them as well. Then head up to the north side, hit all the enemies around here, pop off a bunch more arrows until you get your proc. Wait for these big guys to spawn, pop off your second arrow shot. At which point there'll be only a couple more guys left over and you can pop off your last couple arrow guns and arrow jaws in order to clean up and you should be able to do all that without running out of mp but if you do run out of mp generally it's just a quick little clean up to get the last couple guys or bring a high ether with you as well that can also speed your runs up quite a fair bit each run gives about thirty-six thousand xp which is about a level and a quarter so yeah doesn't take that long to max all the way up to level 100 about i don't know hour hour and a half of work tops Thank you very much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Take care and uh, let me know if you liked the video.